Hey guys, my name is Andrew Perla, and today we're talking about how to kill off intestinal parasites using the seed of a fruit, papaya seeds. So in my previous video, I talked about how fruit, specifically the skin of a fruit, the peel of a banana, can be used as a topical treatment for an issue, thus replacing drugs that can be more caustic, more toxic, and require visits to a doctor. Uh, so um, in this one, I just kind of wanted to run with that theme and show you how a natural product can actually have an effect which uh, is basically as effective as some of the best treatments that the drug industry has come up with. Most people assume that parasites are primarily a tropical issue and that if you live in the developed world, particularly in temperate climates, that uh, you know, you're just not going to have to worry about it because after all we have sewer systems, good sanitation, we have better food safety regulations, and we have cold hard freezes which kill off a number of parasites. But is that actually the case? This study took multiple stool samples from 2,896 patients scattered around the United States. 32% of them tested positive for at least one type of intestinal parasite. Some of them had multiple types, and a total of 18 different species of intestinal parasites were detected. So were these guys just, you know, camping out, enjoying our environment without actually hurting us? No, at least in many of the cases. Among those with just a single infection, 70% were suffering from some form of symptom. These included flatulence, diarrhea, bloating, abdominal cramping, constipation, malabsorption, bloody or odorous stool, irritable bowel, mucus, and leaky gut. Uh, they also suffered from fatigue, sensory disorders, pain, skin disorders, allergies, nausea, muscle weakness, pain, immune deficiencies, headache. So we've got quite a mix. So where are these intestinal parasites coming from? Well, there's no question that the major source among people living in the United States is animal products, particularly undercooked or raw animal products. But even a vegan can become infected with a parasite. For instance, our drinking water, even after it's been through a water filtration plant, can carry parasites. Fruits and vegetables, for instance, though ones you get at the supermarket can definitely carry parasites, particularly if they've come in contact with manure. This Canadian study, for instance, found them in packages of ready-to-eat leafy green vegetables at rates between 1.8 and 5.9% of the samples. This study got produce from villages in Iran and found that 37% were contaminated with parasites, but after those samples had been washed, none of them had any. So what do you do if you become infected with a parasite? If you happen to get them, most people will have you take very uh, some, some drugs to, to flush them out, but uh, you can actually also use papaya. So let's talk about this study and see how the researchers actually determined that this is a, a workable approach. In most parts of the world where parasitic infection is most common, people are least able to afford the drug-based treatments. Nigeria, for instance, has infection rates close to 60 or 70 percent, according to some studies. But one thing that most tropical countries have in spades is papaya. They're fairly cheap to grow, they don't require a lot of land. As long as there's enough water, you can grow papaya. So this study wanted to see if the old folk remedy of using papaya seeds against parasites was actually going to be effective. They screened a number of children and found 60 who had between them, seven different species of intestinal parasites. Half of them were given four grams of dried, ground-up papaya seeds. That's roughly a teaspoon, and that was mixed in with honey. The other half got just the honey. Among the papaya seed group, four of those parasitic species were wiped out completely. Now, among the remaining three, the clearance rates were over 71%. The researchers don't know why there was some parasitic cleaning clearance in the honey-only group, and nor why some of those kids didn't have their parasites completely wiped out. 
it's possible that larger doses or more frequent doses would have done it. This was just a single administration of the papaya seeds. The researchers recommended papaya seeds as a viable treatment for parasitic infections. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, you can leave me one them in the comment section below. Uh, subscribe if you haven't done so. See you later.